Soil Solutions Training for Teachers is brought to you by 4-H, the Durham County Extension Master Gardener Volunteers, and the Cooperative Extension Service of Durham, North Carolina. This is Harold Johnson, a Durham County Master Gardener Volunteer, and we're talking about Lesson 1 of Soil Solutions. Lesson one is soil properties. The lesson plan suggests that you divide your class into three groups and go into the playground, find three different types of soil and have them collect. You can see that you'll need additional personnel to help you go out, plus it uses time. Two other alternatives that you could uh, resort to would be have children be assigned to bring soil from home. You'll get a wide range of soils and the lesson would work just fine with their soil. Or you can choose three different types of soil, fill up a nice size container so that there's plenty of soil for several groups to work on. This section of the lesson one is digging deeper. We have three types of soil that we've dug up either from the playground or from your home or the children have brought them. And I'm going to put a bit of each of the samples here in front. This is one that contains a lot of sand as well as some organic material known as humus. This one appears to be a lot of clay and this one seems to be almost entirely organic matter. We want to use our magnifying glass and have children look at the soil to determine what they see in it, what colors, what textures, how fine the particles are. They're looking at them. And if they find a worm, be prepared. They will all want to hold the worm. You might find eggs or insects have them record what they see and discuss with you. Now in the digging deeper section, we're going to take a small amount of each of the soils and help us determine the components. Sand, clay, silt, humus. If we can make a little ball and we can squeeze the ball into a rip, oh, we can't do it with this because this is mostly sand and decayed matter, humus. Let's try with this, which is primarily decomposed matter. And we try to make a little ribbon out of it and squeeze and it falls apart. So there's virtually no clay here. Let's see what happens when we try with clay. What we're trying to do is determine if we can make a little ribbon, as it says in the lesson plan. Can we get a ribbon? Need a little more water. And as you can imagine, with clay, we can start to make a nice ribbon. 